Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be covering the last two channels on the list of uh, Material Editor for Cinema 4D. So we have uh, Displacement Channel and uh, Alpha Channel. There's also a Glow Channel, but I would not recommend using it because you can get a better result in you know post-production softwares like uh, Photoshop or After Effects. I'm not going to be covering the Glow Channel at all because I don't use it. And if you want to use it, the settings are really simple. You can probably figure it out. But I would recommend using Photoshop or After Effects to get your glow effects uh, on your objects. Anyway, let's jump in for displacement. So in my last video, I uh, set up this uh, rock material. Let me just open a window so you can see better. So in my last video, I set up this rock material and I uh, showed you how to uh, you know, input the textures uh, from any, uh, any side that you want, but in this case I use Polygon. It's a texture website where you can get all kinds of texture. This one is free, but you can, uh, if you want if you want to pay for it, there's uh, really high-res pictures you can get, and you can use it in your renders. So for each channel, the color channel, the reflecting channel, normals and displacement, I have a texture for each one, and uh, the result you get is really amazing. But the big thing about displacement channel if you go to your segments, make sure your segments are, you know, a hundred or above. You really have to subdivide your objects in order to get a, a right displacement looking material. If your segments are really low, like, you know, 12 or 24, if you apply this material to your sphere, it's going to be really low poly, and the result you get is really going to be not realistic at all. So just make sure to bump up your segments to about 100 or more. And also change your type to any of these. Uh, I recommend the third one. The third one uh, really works for me and uh, I think it gives the most realistic result. The way to set up your displacement guys is um, after you create your you know material, you know color, reflectance, you can also use bump, normal, and displacement. After you apply it to your uh, sphere nothing will happen you will not get any kind of view, viewpoint feedback even if you render the sphere will be round as before the texture is going to be on the sphere but it's not going to displace the object so the way to get that going is to uh, create a displacer deformer and uh, drop under your sphere or any other object that you have and uh, go inside the displacer and inside shading make sure you change it from custom shading to displacement and uh, drop your displacement material inside uh, the texture tag so now as you can see we have you know real-time feedback from our viewport of uh, how the displacement is going to look and uh, we can actually render this and we will get the result that we wanted so if you go inside the displacement channel you know you have basically two controls you have your strength which controls you know how much do you want to displace and the which direction so you have your positive displacement and you have your negative displacement so for this one I'm going to keep it about you know, negative 10 percent and for your height your height is based on your normal texture so it's basically taking your normal texture and uh, you know same thing positive and negative so if you go negative you get a ne negative uh, displacement if you go positive, you get a positive displacement. And uh, for your polygon displacement subdivisions, this is the uh, your detail level. So pretty much the higher the number, the more detailed your texture will be. But I would not recommend to bump this up too high because your machine might crash and you know you might lose your file. So I would not recommend you know to subdivide it too many times. I would recommend actually going back to your object and. Uh, you know, bumping up the segments or making sure your mesh is uh, really detailed instead of using uh, the subdivision levels they have inside the displacement channel. So let me just open my picture viewer and show you the result that you get. So as you can see, this is the result that you get. And uh, the, the sphere is actually being displaced. If, uh, if you did not do this step right here, add displacement under your object and hit render, uh, the displacement will not work and uh, your sphere will you know, stay round. Another thing you can do with displacement channel is uh, 
I use layer instead of just one texture. Right now I have just one texture, but what you can do is actually, you know, create a layer, which is right here. Okay, I'll go inside the layer and then, you know, add another texture, or you can uh, maybe do a noise and so on. And what you can do is you can keep stacking these on top of each other and uh, get different results. Uh, maybe you're going for something specific like uh, rock that has to be a certain height, you know, not too high, not too low. So you can, uh, you know, mask and use different uh, multiply modes, uh, overlay modes and whatever, whatever else to uh, get the look that you want. And uh, for, the, uh, for the last channel, all we have is the alpha channel. And alpha channel is basically your mask. So whatever is black, you know, will, will show in your render and whatever is white will be hidden. And that's pretty much it. You can use any, you know, grayscale image in here to mask out your uh, geometry. In this case, I use tiles. And uh, if you go in size, you can see we have just a few rings going around. So whatever is black is going to be, uh, you know, shown in the render and whatever is white is going to be hidden. It basically works like um, Photoshop mask. So let me just open my picture viewer again. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is our displacement, and let me just, yeah, this is our alpha. So as you can see, these are the same rings. You know, they're masking right now. Same thing if we go open the um, alpha channel, we go inside, and this is our mesh. In, in my case, it's a sphere, but as you can see, the black is knocking out the geometry uh, polygons and the white is uh, keeping uh, the geometry polygon. So you can use any texture, you can mask out whatever part of the object that you want. And also you can uh, you can go on your alpha and you can invert it and uh, get a different result. And uh, that's about it guys. So this is the displacement channel and uh, your alpha channel. I think I covered all the channels from uh, color to displacement. So uh, if you want to go back in my videos and take a look, I cover most of the channels and how to use them. In my next video, I'll be covering um, how to create a complex material using all the channels that I showed you in my videos. So stay tuned, uh, subscribe, and uh, give it a like if this video helped you. Have a good day, guys.